up guys, it's Nick from Kona here. Today I'm with Chris Borsma. We are at Global Time Attack here at New Jersey Motorsports Park. So Chris, tell me about your car. What uh, what do we got here? What is uh, it? It's a 1999 Honda Civic uh, SIR, which is your SI here in, uh, in the US. Still running a B-Series engine. Uh, we have a turbocharger on there from Garrett. It's a GTX 3582. It's a built block. Uh, ported head, Supertech valve train, Brian Crower rods, pistons, those types of things. Uh, it makes uh, 785 wheel horsepower on full boost. So that's 33 pounds, I think it was. Uh, this weekend, we're running it at about 600 to 625, uh, about 24, 25 pounds of boost. We're running the Koenig Hypergram 18 by 11s. These are, these are the 18 inch Hypergrams. 18 inch uh, Hypergrams, these are the new for this season. Yeah, 18s front and rear, actually. Uh, and then we're on a Yokohama AO52R 315 uh, 3018 in the front, and then a 255 3518 in the front. That's a that's a big wheel for this car. It's a very Mo big most wheel. people usually yeah. run 15 16s yeah. tops. We ran uh, a 19 inch wheel in the front last year on a Viper ACR tire, and that's a 25 series sidewall. We swap between different compounds sometimes. Different tires work at different tracks a little bit better. Right. Um, different series require us to kind of run different tires as well. Um, rain setup versus you know dry setup. Let's talk about the the arrow in the front a little bit. Yep. What uh, what do you have on there? Yeah, so it's a huge splitter that we have on the front. Uh, it's actually designed by Spage Ports. Uh, they're up in uh, Kitchener near us, and it's a full carbon 3D splinter uh, splitter uh, <laughs> splinter, not splinter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, quite wide and quite large, uh, and we're using that to try to generate as much front downforce as we can. In the limited class we run in, we can't run an under tray. So we're, we're limited to baking arrow in the front and the rear of the car. So we have a big splitter in the front uh, and we have a big wing from APR to GT1000 in the rear to try to compensate and balance that out. And then a small diffuser that we made. Uh, one of our buddies is actually uh, works in aluminum, uh, track works. So he's made the side skirts and the diffuser for us. Let's talk about the interior. What do, what do yeah. you have? Interior is pretty interior. sparse. Uh, uh, we I, noticed, have I noticed there's only one seat and one seat, a roll cage. Er, you can't, there's not even the stuff to bolt another seat in anymore. Uh, we've tried to rip out as much from the car as we possibly can. Right. B awesome. pillars are cut, C pillars are cut. Uh, there's a really nice roll cage that Levine Motorsports did for us. Got their race tech seat in there and then we have the AIM Motorsports dash and the Smarty Cam. And then we run the uh, Link uh, G4 Thunder ECU. Did we talk about your, your suspension? Uh, no, actually we didn't. So, we didn't. Right, you know, so big let... K-tuned on the side of the car. So <laughs> obviously, you know, we're running a B-series, so we don't have a K-series in the car, but K-tune makes oh, yeah, tons pretty, of suspension. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Everybody always asks if you pop the hood off, like, wait a second, there's uh, a B-series. Yes, what the hell is going on here? But uh, we run all of the K-tune suspension stuff. So we're running their right. K2 Pro Circuit coilovers. Uh, we run quite a few of their suspension arms as well. <clears throat> for getting uh, camber adjustment front rear, those right. sorts of things. Uh, and the suspension is huge for these aero cars. So that splitter is, is huge. Um, we're running a triple adjustable uh, shock in the front and we run uh, 34 kg springs, uh, which are very heavy. And then we have um, packers and uh, bump stops in the car. There are like another 2000 pounds of spring rate. We're running StopTech uh, brakes in the front with a G-Lock Prad. Uh, and we're running a kit that StopTech has designed for Time Attack. Okay. Uh, it's a smaller rotor than their traditional SD40 uh, kits. Uh, so we're getting a, a weight reduction there, but right. still getting that really, really good braking performance that they're known for. Biasing is correct from front to back. Uh, we're running just an OEM Type R setup in the rear. Oh wow! Uh, factory caliper, nothing special, but uh, the uh, G-Lock R10s in the rear and then G-Lock R16s in the front. All right, so that's it for Chris's walk around. Chris, thank you so much for everything. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.